Hey, Buck, Jessica here. Also, Stiggy, as usual. So, it's day three of finals for United Fight. I have been doing videos on each of the successive steps of United Fight. So, OTK, Re-X Plus, um, NM90, NM95, and today, NM100 unlocked. So, let's jump into what I am running for this. Uh, I feel like when you get into NM100, it's the point where it's a little bit harder to be super consistent because the fight's longer. So I've got it down to about a 13 to 14 turn clear, which I'm not actually sure if that's fast or not. Um, I, I haven't found a good point of reference. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I'm using for that. It's about a three and a half minute clear if you're just going full speed, or well, if I'm going full speed rather. So I will break down what I'm doing turn by turn, and then I'll do the full speed run. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. Okay, here's the team. The big shift is we went from Luchador to Masquerade, since this will be a longer fight, so the benefit of tag team falls off a little bit. Though I will say, if you are running an incredibly strong grid, like stronger than my grid, uh, which is this for reference, then you might still be justified in running tag team, uh, rather, <laughs> running tag team, running Luchador for tag team, but um, I found in my case that uh, Masquerade works out a little bit better here. Uh, I'm running the Attack on Titan skin, by the way, if you're wondering what's going on there, if you haven't seen the skin port. Can you still get the skin? I was wondering this the other day, because uh, obviously this is from the collab, the Attack on Titan collab event, and they've been pretty hit or miss, actually, with bringing back some events. Like, I don't think the Persona ones come back. Uh, I don't think the Street Fighter ones come back. There's a whole bunch that haven't come back, but then again, the Love Live one is a side story. Uh, and the Tales of ones are side stories. So, yeah, I don't know if this skin is ever coming back. Let me know if you can still get the skin. I, I, I'm legitimately curious. But yeah, the team we're running, uh, Narmaya, Mihira, Ilnot. So uh, for this longer fight, we switched out Mirion and Rosette. Uh, I tried this with them. They also seem to work fine. But I kind of like Mahira here just for a little bit more consistency. Because um, Ilnot's uh, fluorescence only lasts five turns. And since... Like I said in the intro, this is about 13 to 14 turn clear. We need some buffs to fill that gap. Uh, since we are running Ilnot, um, I'm running Clarity as my uh, my dwarf skill. In theory, I could use Hangman instead of Clarity, but the timing's slightly off since I'm summoning Ariel, summoning Ariel turn one for um, for Roaring Crew. Ilnot's two. You'll see when we get into it. So I found it better to take Clarity here. If I didn't take Clarity, I could take uh, Shall We Dance, which is the field effect that uh, Masquerade gets. But it's not a huge loss. I want to say Shall We Dance is either 5 or 10% Echo. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it's not huge. So I'm fine with taking a Clarity there. Uh, and then, yeah, Narmaya is still great here. Um, because while you're not running Tag Team, so you don't get like double Assassin from that on Narmaya, we are running uh, Boonshas. Uh, that's how you pronounce it, <laughs> apparently. If you've been watching recent videos, I've been trying to figure out how to pronounce this. According to Google, this is Boonshas. Uh, assuming that is um, French. Because uh, Chasse, the second word, means hunt in French. Anyway, anyway. Um, if you time Narmaya's Minded Peace uh, that, with that, then you still get a double Assassin turn. So this this works fine. But yeah, um, back row is still Silva for extra chain burst damage and came because Highlander grid. This is the grid. The fight is now long enough that I feel like yet running Yahata's Naganata um, actually works out here. I wasn't running Yahata's Naganata on... Uh, uh, OTK, obviously, or NM90 or NM95, because those were short enough that I felt like progression wasn't a good move there. And then this is the summon setup. Uh, I feel like this is a pretty good setup. Obviously, I would run Gal I'd probably run Galleon instead of Dogu here if I had Galleon, but I don't have Galleon, so, so yeah, not an issue. Uh, all right, let's just jump in the fight. All right, NM100. Oh, and I mentioned this in another video, but my crew was only tier B for this United fight since we were only 21 people. But we did manage to actually rank up out of tier B into tier A. We got, like, I think top 140 uh, in uh, the the last round of finals. So, yeah, we're tier A now, which is nice. All right. So, this fight is now long enough that uh, I'm pretty sure Gorilla is no longer the right call. So, going double Titan, though I've been doing double Titan the whole time. And yeah, this setup, this 
this round we'll do it nice and slow i'll talk through everything then the next round after we'll try and go as fast as possible so we'll start by uh summon summoning uriel use roaring crew then fluorescence then clarity away the shorted from uh roaring crew eight step two to tango Perennial Beauty, Spear Drums, Finding Flight, Feather and Nest. I guess we might as well activate this as well because it will cool down by the time people have the Spear Drums and then attack. I really like Masquerade. Masquerade does a considerable amount of damage. I find um, having a character like Ilnot works well with Masquerade because it makes Hey yo! <laughs> Makes it um, a lot more consistent to build promenade levels. Same thing with Masquerade and um, Grand Nihan, or really anyone like that can uh, give you consistent triples. So Apex of Nothingness and Mind of Peace to get the Assassin effect from Narmaya. Uh, I'll point something out. We're not going to use Boonshas, um when Promenade is ready because it has a 9 turn cooldown. Um, so we want to actually save it to line up with the next round of Assassin on Normaya. So we're going to hold on to it, if you're wondering about that. Again, the timing is pretty precise that we're trying to do here. There's going to be a slight variance based on crits and stuff, but this should be pretty consistent. This would definitely be either a 13 or 14 round clear. Or clear, rather. And 5 million counterattack damage. Is significant. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead and summon Hangman. That would dispel the attack down, which gets us some damage back. I'm really happy that Ilnot got a really good swimsuit version. Because, like, I really like Ilnot's character, but OG Ilnot's just not that great. Um, so I'm glad that this gives me a chance to actually use her. Because I really like Ilnot's design. And boy, I think she's pretty good would be kind of an understatement at this point. Uh, so yeah, we would be ready to use Boonshas, I think, in a couple turns, but we're not going to. We're going to hold on to it. I wonder if Stig is like, who are you talking to all the time? Or I, does he just like not wonder that? I don't know. I guess I never ask, who are you talking to this day when he just meows at nothing? Alright, so um, we could charge attack here, um, which would delay that, but I'll just go ahead and use peace out here to double delay that and do the 4 million nuke. Uh, I gotta say, um, Ilnot is a champion even in uh, NM100. Like, yeah, her fluorescence only lasts 5 turns. And can't be recast, but the fact that she double delays, double nukes, double dispels, and then also does that on charge attack sometimes is pretty significant. I'm looking down left because I'm queuing up an Arknights level. I got back into Arknights. Some of them were just like, oh yeah, blah 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 blah, other games. I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't played Ark Knights in a while. So I jumped into Ark Knights. I also started Honkai Third Impact again. I also reinstalled Genshin Impact again, so I guess I'm just starting all my games back up. Ugh. People been asking me if I quit Genshin. I haven't played Genshin uh, in a long time. But Ball, um, May, essentially, uh, the Lightning Shogun or whatever, is coming out soon, and that's enough reason for me to come back. Okay. I will say one awkward thing about this setup is sometimes she will get a charge attack off, which can put some interesting debuffs on me, and I don't have a good way to counter that right now. Just do that the way the timing works. I could probably switch out my summon, but I would have to drop. I I'm not quite sure who I would drop to get a summon to deal with this. That's a refinement I'll think about. But it's not that big a deal. Like, yeah, she'll get a charge attack off here. Annoying, but really, what are you gonna do? Not that big a deal. 
I'm going to save that until I get 100, um, Apex of Nothingness until I get 100%. Like, I could drop the Belial, I guess, but that, that would drop my damage, so I don't know if I would drop the Belial. We'll see. If I could, like, bring a Typhon to stop this, and then just not eat any charge attacks, but really, that didn't end up being that big a deal, so. So, um... Minor piece is cooled down three turns, so in three turns we will use bone shots and uh, push into the final bit of the fight. You should get a nuke from the not from that too. A double nuke, so yeah. Nice. And that's also a, a double delay, double dispel. Not that that part mattered there. All right, another one. Whoops! I was supposed to activate uh, Apex of Nothingness, but I charge attacked instead. Awkward. It's not that big a deal, but yeah. Okay. Summon Dogu here. Next turn will be uh, Bunshas plus uh, Mind at Peace. We, there's a trigger 25% I believe, so we want to have Mind at Peace up, because that gives our Maya the ability to sub for it. Wow, that, that, that hurt. That hit significantly hard. We're fine, but man, you need to calm your ass down. Okay, so here, Apex of Nothingness, Mind at Peace. Unshas, and then also 25%, so everything perfectly timed. Um, and yes, attack. Get her ass. There's probably some optimizations I could do to get the 7 out of 12 turn clear, but yeah, I think this would de this would definitely be a 13 turn clear. Yeah, we're pretty close, like 3%. There's surely something I could do to just get it down to like a 12 turn clear, but 13... Yeah, well, actually, we're doing our skill damage. I don't think we do enough skill damage. Oh! There you go, 12 turns. Got there with skill damage. So there, 12 turns clear, improved the record. Okay, so that's that's basically walking through step by step. Let's try and go fast now. This time we go for speed. Now I'll call things out as I do them because it helps me remember. So Summon Uriel, Brung Crew, Fluorescence, Clarity, Bait Step, Chew to Tango, Cardio Beauty, Beard Drums, Finding Flight, Feathered Nest, Attack. Wait for that stuff to go. Attack, refresh. Summon Dogu. Apex of Nothingness, Mind of Peace. For the Assassin. Attack Refresh. Go ahead and summon Hangman to dispel the attack down on Armaya. Attack Refresh. Then summon Titan for damage here. Attack refresh. Still not should be ready to charge attack, which would delay this next uh this which would delay the boss so they don't charge attack. Attack refresh. Last another turn. Oh, we gotta do a lockout, so we'll wait. 
attack refresh. Go ahead and activate Carnival Beauty. Finding Flight on the shoulder of the Giants. Peace out for the double delay. Attack refresh. Spear drums. Another nest. Beat step. Attack. Refresh. Damage charge up and ready to go. Activate. Apex of nothingness. Attack. Refresh, and that would delay because of Ilnut. Attack. Wait for lockout, I mean. Attack, refresh. I think Mind of Peace will be ready next turn. So let's summon Dogu. Okay, so should, we should be right before 25%. We are. Mind of Peace, we are exactly on 25%. Mind of Peace is ready. Unshas with Mind of Peace. Summon Hangman. Attack refresh. The final push here. Just make sure we get enough damage. So, Pernio Beauty. Finding Flight. Sun Uriel. Attack refresh. Done? Done. <laughs> Clear. Let's see how fast that was. I, I lost crack. Was that 12 turns or 13? I think it was 13 turns. So, let's see. How fast did we go, though? That's the real question. So, battle log. So, 3 minutes and 24 seconds for that clear in 13 turns. I would call that a solid not bad. Um, I don't have a point of reference because I don't know how fast other people are doing this. But I, I would call that pretty good. Uh... Three and a half minutes, essentially, for two and a half million honor. I'll take it. Anyways, let's get to conclusions. So that's been NM100, and I just noticed my crew has now just unlocked NM150, so maybe that's the next project. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you found this uh, interesting and helpful. Now, I'm going to reiterate the thing I've been saying throughout this whole thing. Don't fret too much if you aren't able to get it down to a 13 turn clear, a 12 turn clear, don't fret too much if you're, you take more than three and a half minutes. It's not that big a deal, especially for NM100, because you're doing less of those total. Like, I would say shaving off time for your OTK in particular matters more because you're doing so many of them. But, like, I'm at 64 million honors, and if NM100 is 2.5 million roughly, that's about 26 clears. So if I, you know, if you take a minute longer times 26... That's still less than half an hour extra time. It's not that big a deal. But if you find like a lot of enjoyment in shaving Hellasic, in shaving off every possible turn, every possible minute, then like hopefully that ah, sticky. <laughs> and then hopefully this has been helpful for you. Uh, because seeing a point of reference, I think, can really help give you an idea of where you are and like where you might make some refinements. It was sticky wants to play now, so yeah, I'll I'll stop the video here. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this, all that YouTube stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!